here at the Disaster Expo at Ford Park, Texas. Game wardens are here. The Port Arthur Fire Department involved showing off some of these boats that they have to be available to access areas that take on high water. Hurricane season just a few weeks away. Look at our SWAT truck here. Wow, have you seen one of these before? This from the Orange County Sheriff's Department. About a quarter of a million dollar vehicle, but certainly crucial uh, at times when law enforcement needs to protect the citizenry. These 1078s kind of important here. If we were to have some kind of a high water event, take on 60 inches of rain as we have sometimes in the past, Precinct 1, Jefferson County, would be able to respond pretty quickly. These can get into almost, the 1078 can get into almost any area, and many are equipped to be able to give handicapped persons, people in wheelchairs, access as well. But the 1078, very, very crucial for high water events, not only in Jefferson County, but all around our area. And look, man, there's just so much here. Look at the Acadian Emergency Mass Casualty Vehicle. Plenty of room. Uh, for a lot of patients, just how many patients? We turn to the man who knows. Tell, tell how many patients can you so put, we can, you know, uh, you know, put in here? When we're fully loaded, we can run 21 patients. And laying down supine at each patient compartment, there's oxygen and there's AC plugs in case we have to plug something in. Yes, and we run with a crew of six, two up front and four medics in the back. And we have the ability that we can run vital sign monitors on them and we put a, a blood pressure cuff, 4K, 4 EKG leads on them and a pulse oximeter, and we transmit their vital signs via Bluetooth to a TV up front so we can monitor vital signs as we're going down the highway to keep the medics from having to walk around. And, and uh, we've used it several times. Yeah, is this owned by Jefferson County or by Acadian? Or Neither, it's, or, it's owned by the state of Texas. The state of Texas owns 18 of them, and they have uh, placed them throughout the state in different areas. And this is the only one in the Beaumont region. There's three currently in the Houston region. The state of Texas, in a partnership between DISHES and TDM, pay for the cost of this, and we're just a custodian of it. Thank you so much, man. You're so welcome. Here's the outside of the mass casualty vehicle. Again, only one in our area holding potentially 21 patients possibly in a hurricane scenario or really anything, a mass casualty event of any kind, crime or otherwise. 